Okay, here I am uh, recovering from my second knee surgery. And I'm finally feeling like I would like to do a video. And I've got several of them that I've kind of planned, but I haven't gotten into uh, for a while. Okay. I went out and looked at a couple of my solar arrays and different days. Okay, the first day I took a look at the solar array that's mounted on the shop. That's a 412 pitch and which turns out to be about a 33 degree uh, angle. Okay, so that's what the angle of the solar panels are. And I noticed a lot of frost buildup on them. You know, this happens very commonly, uh, you know, when there's frost. Duh. Anyway, uh, there's there's a lot of frost buildup on them. Well, I've also got another uh, couple of arrays that are at a 45 degree angle. I built those a little differently. They're ground mounts. And I was looking at the frost on those. And... There wasn't very much frost on them at all. Now, neither one of these arrays are in full sun at this time. There's some shadows across them and the like. But you notice the ones that are 45 degrees have far less uh, frost. So, you know, considering frost usually kind of drops down, you know, out of the sky, I guess that's, that is normal. But it's going to take a while for this frost to go away. And there's very little power gets through the frost. On this, these panels here that we're showing, the ones at a 45 degree angle came back much faster. In fact, they were producing power when the, uh, when the picture was taken. The others on the uh, 412 pitch roof were... Uh, not producing hardly anything. And so I got to thinking about that, and then we had a little bit of snow. Not very much, an inch or so of snow. So I took a look again. And again, we come up with the same problem. With the roof-mounted ones, they are producing no power at all because they're completely covered by snow. The ones that are ground mounted, uh, the snow's already coming off of them. You know, these pictures were done about the same time. And so here we're looking at the production of these things in the winter. You know, this is at, uh, we're at about 47 degrees north. Uh, they're going to produce more power. Um, Partly because, you know, the, the uh, angle of the sun is down enough that they, uh, they get a little bit more uh, uh, solar coming through because of that low sun uh, compared to the roof-mounted ones. Uh, but I just thought it was interesting that this happens. And, you know, the optimal, what... Everyone says the optimal angle is 40 degrees or 39 degrees where I'm at. But we need to produce more power in the winter than we do in the summer. I have far more power in the summer than I can ever use. And I get into a deficit usually in November and December and January where I use more power than I produce. Uh, but with these ground mounts that are just recently done, that may be changing some of that because I'm going to have a little bit longer time. You know, getting the snow off, uh, that's, a, that's a monster. Uh, it takes a long time sometimes. Sometimes it takes all day long to get it off, especially on those uh, 412 pitches. But at, at the uh, 45 degrees, it's... It's pretty fast. It comes off pretty fast. Now, 
very low temperatures are probably going to change that some and so it won't always work but i thought this was just something that was kind of interesting to put out there and it may change the way you decide you want to put the uh, panels in because having panels that some of the panels uh, produce more power at different times during the day is always kind of good as long as there's not too much of a deficit so uh when you're thinking about these, and, and of course on a roof mount, you can't change the angle. You can, but it's kind of a monster. Uh, but on a, a ground mount, you can have that angle, uh, whatever you want it to be. So there's another plus kind of going onto the uh, ground mount solar. Just a little thing I thought I'd bring up, you know, that sometimes it makes a difference. And, you know, you don't even think about it when you're first starting out in this stuff, that these little things would make that much difference. And uh, that's it on this one.